Hey dudes, today I want to talk about creating a spotting sheet in Pro Tools. But what is that and why do we want to do it? Well, basically a spotting sheet is going to become our blueprint. Anything that you can think about that we want to add to our movie, we're going to go through it now, write it all down, and then export it so we have a to-do list of things to do for our project. So let's jump right into it. The first thing that we're going to do is create markers or memory locations. Now there's a couple ways to do this. You can go up to the top here where it says markers and then hit the plus sign to add marker or memory location. Bada boom, there we go. So let's do our first spotting note. Super exciting times. So what's really important is in the name section here of the memory location, we wanna do like what general stem or general sound concept this is. So I'll do, for example, BG for background. And then we can go down to the comments and write something like, let's see, we're gonna probably add some traffic some birds, it's daytime. There's some trees and stuff around. Maybe wind through trees, that's a cool sound. So there's our three right there, that's pretty good, but I don't know, maybe we'll do another layer of traffic. We'll do like heavy and medium or close and far perspective or something like that. So I can hit okay. Cool, so that gives me the backgrounds for my scene. I can move my marker around to different places, or I can just leave it here. It's just a general note, specifically with backgrounds, to let me know here are the BGs that I'm going to add. I may even do something like this, where I click and drag the marker or memory location to the beginning of the scene. When we export and create our spotting sheet, everywhere that we have a marker, it will remember this time code up here. So by moving my BGs to the beginning, it's going to give me the beginning of the scene time code, and it's going to let me know where I should start my backgrounds. So another thing I like to do at the beginning and sometimes ends of scenes is add a little extra sprinkle of some sound effects. So maybe somewhere around here towards the beginning, I'm going to do FX, and I'm going to establish that this is a suburb by adding some dogs barking. I probably don't want that as a background across the whole scene, but it's a nice sound effect to establish where we are. Cool. I'm going to also want to add some other impressionistic stuff around here. If you look at this great acting over here with this concern on my face, basically this voiceover is going to be me questioning myself or maybe not feeling confident that I could pull this off. So I'm going to add some more FX. Oh yeah, and then of course, I'll probably want to give myself a mix note over here. So we've been cruising along. You can look at the top of the session here and you can see that we've added a bunch of markers or memory locations. Now, one more cool little tip that you can do is command five on the number pad that's on the right or window memory locations. And look how cool this is. It brings up all the different locations that we've created and I can even click on them and it'll go to exactly that place and time. So awesome. And let's say we're all done now and we want to export this and get it out of here into a document that we can read, look at, refer to, send to our client, send to other people we're collaborating with, etc. So let's jump into that. So we're going to go to File, Export, Session Info as Text. Now you will get this pop-up window, and there are lots of options you can click on, but all we've done is, member add our markers or memory locations. So I'm going to deselect anything other than markers because that's the only thing that I want to include. I want it in a format of timecode because that's going to be very useful. 
and we'll just do a text edit file and hit OK. So at this point, you just want to navigate to your folder where your project is or your master session is. This particular project was part of a longer video, so if you want to see me get down and add all of these sounds that we just spotted, I'll put a little link at the top that you can check it out. But for now, this is the project, SNF Film Comp and Spotting. That sounds great. So you can label it however you'll remember it, but make sure you have spotting somewhere in the title there. Hit save. Cool. So we can command tab or navigate to the finder, however you do it on your machine, and go to that master folder that we put it in and check it out. So here is our spotting sheet. You can expand it out a little bit, but look, here's the location, AKA the time code. Here's the name, background, FX, VO, mix, and here's the comment of exactly what it is that we want to do. So there we go. We created a spotting sheet. So I fast forwarded just a little bit. Here is what my session looks like after I have completed all of my spotting notes and then some. So let's take a listen. Got all my backgrounds, birds, wind, traffic, my dogs barking at the beginning of the scene, the sirens starting to creep in a little bit. There sure is a lot of pressure to get the voiceover right. with the reverb. What if I don't get it right? The underwater Wait, sound. What if I mess something up? Car alarm. What if I can't explain designing the audio experience the right way? No, wait a minute, I got this. My reverse explosion, my car horn, car by. I'd call that pretty successful. So again, a spotting sheet is so important because if you're just sitting down for the first time at your session, looking at it going, oh my God, where do I start? Start with the spotting session. Write down everything that you want to do so that when you do it, you give yourself the gold star and you go, hey, I'm doing exactly what I'm supposed to do. The last thing you want to do is feel lost when you first sit down and open up Pro Tools. So I hope this helps get you guys moving in the right direction when you first sit down and you're about to start a project. I had a good time. Hope you guys did. Hope you learned something and I'll see you on the next one. Later dudes.